What's up, fam? Welcome back to the channel. This is your boy J. Reed for J. Reed's Love, of course. So, check it out. This is what we're going to be doing today. We are going to paint some seats or seat. I went to O'Reilly's and picked up this vinyl and fabric paint. And it's for center consoles, trim, and seats. I don't know how you can paint a seat and it not come off on your clothes, but we're fixing to find out today. And just some maintenance stuff. I needed another another light. I gotta take my car to get inspected. And my passenger side light don't half work sometimes. So we need to get that fixed. But the first thing we're gonna do is paint this seat. Cause I wanna see how it's gonna work. And I'm gonna show you how dirty this seat is. So it should help quite a bit. And I don't even know if I got the right color. I think I did. But you see this seat is kind of shit. So we're going to paint that. Make it all nice and pretty. I don't think I'm going to paint this part. I'm just going to spray the actual material. And get that looking right. And I'm going to fix that light. So let's jump right into that. Ooh, look at that steering wheel. So... I really don't even know if if it's the light that's the issue. I hope it's not the assembly. But we are going to see. Okay, we got the light in here. So what happens is it doesn't blink. Like when you turn the light to let's turn it on. Turn it that way. You hear it blink. The problem was when you turned the other way, it didn't blink, but now it's bleaking. But it was intermittent, so we'll see if that actually fixed it or not. You can't see it, it's right there, but maybe you can hear it. So that one is working. So maybe we got that fixed, and that was all that was left that I needed to do to get inspection. But now we're fixing to paint this seat. So what does it say you got to do? Prepare the surface by removing grease wax. We're not going to do that. Mask off. We're not going to do that. Two, apply two light coats of CP90. The fuck is that? Oh, that's, it. that's optional. Shake can vigorously. Spray and hold parallel. So I know how to shake vigorously. But we're going to skip a couple steps and see if that works. Let's get to it. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. Trash. Oh, it stinks. This ain't working. That doesn't look like it's gonna work. Well, maybe working a little bit. Let's get this dirty spot over here. Ugh, that's strong. Do y'all see a difference? I don't see no difference. Probably wasted $8. But, so I don't mess up my camera. Boy, I'm about to leave these windows down. That shit's strong. Did I say cameras? So I don't mess up my camera. We're going to finish spraying it. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like once I'm done. Look, guys. You know that review mirror I just put up? Why is it sitting right here? Can someone tell me why this mirror is sitting right here? And not up here. This Texas heat, I'll tell you. So now I gotta try to fix that again. I'll get some more 3M tape. I think I need it for inspections, but really, I don't think I do because I have two side mirrors. If I didn't have those, oh. So, okay. But anyway, so we got one coat on it. I think I was a little too overzealous in that area. 
but those dirty stains have kind of gone away so I'm gonna let this dry out Look like it may already be dry and we're gonna lay on some more coats so let's get to that okay so I got a few coats of paint on it probably about three coats probably should have did it a little thinner right there but I don't care as you can see the fumes are still floating around man it's taking a long time for the fumes to clear so we're gonna have to crack the window we're gonna let it sit for about an hour or so and I'm gonna come back out and see what it looks like I'm glad I didn't break the new mirror I just got jeez gee whiz but I see a big difference in the way it looks those light spots I don't really care about that what was looking nasty and you can probably see it in the last video I did was the dark spots from the rain because believe it or not this seat once I took it out to put out the other seat this seat sat outside covered in snow <laughs> it's been in the rain it's after it's finished raining it still sat out there dried out in the sun and it did not mildew it did not stink it did not smell like mildew I was highly surprised it was probably about it, it set out literally in the elements for about six to seven months before I decided to to move it in the house you know what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna paint I mean really what I need to do is just get a new seat cover I don't know why I'm playing around just need to get a seat cover but we're gonna see what that look, looks like in about an hour and I'm gonna let y'all know another thing I need to fix I need another this because that is broke there's no screws in it I don't know what they were doing you see how that dash is it flops around but you know I didn't pay but 2300 for a cam 302 I paid 2300 for my car and it was cammed rebuilt engine mm, absolute steel I probably could have turned it around right then and sold it for four thousand. There's no way you would find a car like that now in in the condition it's in, in the condition that I bought it in for twenty three hundred. People be one four grand just for a damn roller. So you know, I'm winning like a champ on on the Fox body. But anyway, we're gonna come right back. We're gonna let it uh, let the paint dry and see what it looks like. Okay, guys. So I think this seat done dried long enough. Let's see if it looks any better. Okay, okay. No, it don't. So the seat, so the seat looks better in a sense that, like I said, the dark spots is gone. Feels kind of sticky. So it probably still needs to dry. I messed that up. I should have sprayed lighter coats. The back part looks really good. Other than that, it looks damn near new that look like somebody ass been in here somebody nasty ass been in there that's what it looked like but it did the job i didn't expect much i just wanted those dark spots gone so now when you get look back you don't really see you don't see no dark spots you see light spots now so that's the difference now what i can do too because that paint would allow me to repaint everything this whole door and all of that but i'm not going to do that because the ultimate goal is to get aluminum but i'm not even sure if i should do that because it's so hot in texas it's so hot in texas right now and i can only imagine what getting into a car with aluminum doors would feel like we're going to leave this window down so we can get some air circulating in that bad boy I don't know if y'all can see this, but remember my touch-up that I did? It, it already messed up. The part where I touched up is already chipping, but the part around it is not. But anyway, yard man fucked up my tire. Anyway, I just wanted to take y'all along with me while I did that. That's going to be it for this video. Peace.